This clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank, Slovacek Sausage, Germania Insurance, TX Burger, and RV Source. Well, it's time for the TX Burger Burger of the Week. And this week, we're in Houston at a burger joint that's been here since 1961, Stanton City Bites. When you first pull up to this Houston hotspot, just north of downtown, it looks more like a house than a hamburger joint. But once you step foot into the eatery, you're floored with food and friendly faces. Stanton's is a local Houstonian iconic place to eat. We come all the way across town to eat lunch here. It's a great place to eat burgers. To have something that's stable in the community like Stanton, pretty impressive. Well, we had to find out what all the fuss was about. I have many, many stories to tell you, but I don't think you have all day. <laughs> <laughs> that's when we met the owner, Teresa Fong, who just happens to be one of the most fun-loving burger flippers we've ever come across. Are you kidding me? You're working with family. It's always drama. <laughs> but that makes it fun sometimes, right? Teresa and her son Jonathan run Stanton City Bites, a hideaway with some history. Teresa's in-laws opened the corner store back in 1961. But when Teresa and her husband Arthur inherited the store in the 80s, something had to change. Grocery business? So boring. You know, I'm from Hong Kong. Everything is the fast pace. And so I told my husband, I can't do this. It's so boring. I fall asleep. I said, that's not good to show the customer that I'm boring here. So Teresa started making meals. Meals that smelled so sweet, people would come off the street trying to buy a plate. When I first moved here, the food is really bad in Houston. It wasn't long before folks were lining up to buy anything and everything Teresa would cook. But Arthur had an idea. And then after a little while, and then my husband said, this is America, you need to serve burger, you know. But I said, I don't like burger. So she made an exception and made beefy <laughs> burgers one day a week. Every Monday, we started uh, uh, selling like just bacon, cheeseburger, and fries. Just Monday. Then ever since I started, I said, hey, we come back for the burger. I said, but you had to come back Monday. They were so mad. <laughs> That's when the grocery store started to take another form. Can you put a couple of chairs around here? So let us sit down and eat a hot burger and hot meal. No, I say it's too much work. <laughs> <laughs> but once again, Teresa made an exception. And 15 years later, Stanton's is a staple. But there were some bumps along the way. The tears and heartache, many, many, many heartache. But you know, I always tell myself, if you work hard, you're willing to learn, you're willing to listen, you get there. The hardest heartache hit Teresa in 2013, when Arthur passed away. Kind of hard for me, I, I sort of kind of give up, you know, so, but we got all the friends and family and customer, but you're saying you need to stay on, I'm sure Art wants you to be, continue, you know, so it is, it's a hard, long, hard three years for me. I'm sorry. Teresa didn't give up, and with the help of her children, Stanton's is staying strong. It's hard for me, and thank God my children kind of helped me out, and I said, that's why I put you through college. <laughs> <laughs> now that I need your help me, you know. <laughs> so now she concentrates on what she does best, making burgers. And we're here for a giant, as big as the high rises of Houston, the Cowboy Brunch Burger. <laughs> You ready to cook? Yeah. All right. It starts with pre-seasoned beef. It's a big patty. It is half pound homemade hand foam patty. There you go. <laughs> People come to, oh my God, your burger is so fresh. Because we don't make a lot in the morning. We make it enough through lunch, the after two to three o'clock, and we make it again. Then comes some tremendous toast dipped in butter. We need heavy toes to hold on all this fixing. You can't eat it while you don't have nothing good solid bread to hold it. So. <laughs> Pickles are placed in the fryer while an egg gets fried up. That's a lot of work. <laughs> I will have for my burger. <laughs> Onions are put on the grill while Swiss cheese crowns the burger and American covers the egg. This oh, we nice can't forget bacon. the bacon. No way. The fried pickles and bacon finish up the bulk of the burger, and that's placed on the Texas toast with mustard, lettuce, and tomatoes. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. I'm starting to see what all the fuss is about, Teresa. Why the hair so big, the foot so much? People just, yeah, this is Texas. Everything has to be huge. That's what I learned when I first moved here. Well, you're keeping the tradition alive with the hugeness. Oh, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> hugeness. Time to eat. Have a nice brunch. Enjoy. Thank you, ma'am. Seriously, it's about as big as I am. Look at this thing. Whoa. Oh, boy. This is going to be fun to get in the mouth. Well, let's go ahead and bring it out of the boat and just get a good look. Oh, my gosh. It's like lifting a weight. Oh, oh. oh and that toast is just smelling incredible. You can tell Teresa really takes pride in everything she does in that burger because it is beautiful. Look at the cheese, the egg, all of it, just begging to be bit into. Well, the smell is incredible. I can only imagine what the taste is like. There's only one way to find out, the cowboy brunch. After tearing into the toast, <laughs> we got to the good stuff. That was already amazing. And I barely got to the beef. Delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Every little thing she puts in there, you taste it. It was awesome, juicy, tender. The further down into this burger you get, the more you squeeze, the more those flavors come together, and the better it tastes. Oh. Kind of a flavor explosion in my mouth. Every bite just gets better. It's a perfect, perfect burger. It's really good. Anytime you get a burger with bacon and eggs on it, it does kind of taste like breakfast, but then when you throw in the fried pickles and mustard in the mayo, then you get a whole nother sensation. There's just so much going on in this big whole burger. We had the best burger. We have put a lot of love and passion in our, in our food, and you can actually tell, okay? Stanton City Bites, a burger as big as Houston, and well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. It is finger licking good. <laughs> Texans know beef, and if we know beef, then we should know our burgers, and that's it. My neighbor states that he knows the best burger joints in, in Houston. Uh, I think I got him one up on this one.